We now look at slightly more complicated examples of calculating logarithms by hand in which the result is an improper fraction. For instance, let's say we have to calculate log base 9 of 27. Well, to begin with, we can say that this has to equal to something which we'll call x. Now, looking at this, we can see that this is written in its logarithmic form, so the first thing we're going to do is rewrite this equation in its exponential form. And remember, to do that, we use the following. If log base b of some number a equals to c, then we can rewrite this as b raised to the power of c equals to a, where the expression on the left-hand side here is the logarithmic form, and the expression on the right-hand side is the exponential form. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in its exponential form. That would be 9 raised to the power of x equals to 27. And now the trick is to write both sides of this equation as powers of the same number. And looking at this equation, we can see right away that 9 isn't a power of 27, nor is 27 a power of 9. But after a little bit of inspection, we notice that both of these numbers, 9 and 27, are powers of 3. Indeed, we know that 9 equals to 3 squared, and we know that 27 is equal to 3 cubed. So using those two results, we can rewrite this equation as 3 to the power of 2, all of which is raised to the power of x, equals to 3 to the power of 3. Now on the left hand side, these powers multiply together, which leaves us with 3 to the power of 2x equals to 3 to the power of 3. And now that both sides of the equation are written as powers of the same number, we can get rid of the bases 3 altogether and equate the exponents. That would be 2x equals to 3. Finally, solving this equation, we can find x, and that is x equals to 3 over 2. And that's the answer. In other words, log base 9 of 27 is equal to 3 over 2, which we can write in exponential form as 9 to the power of 3 over 2 equals to 27. And we're done. Let's look at another example. Say we're asked to evaluate or calculate log base 8 of 16. Well, once more, we can start by saying that this has to equal to something, and we'll call that x. We now see that this is written in logarithmic form, so let's go ahead and rewrite this in exponential form. That would be 8 raised to the power of x equals to 16. And now we have to write both sides of this equation as powers of the same number. But we can see right away that 8 is not a power of 16, nor is 16 a power of 8. But after a little bit of inspection, we realize that both 8 and 16 are powers of 2. Indeed, we know that 8 is equal to 2 to the power of 3, and 16 is equal to 2 to the power of 4. Using those two results, we can rewrite this equation as 2 to the power of 3, all of which is raised to the power of x, equals 2, 2 to the power of 4. Now on the left hand side, these two powers multiply together, which leads us to 2 to the power of 3x equals to 2 to the power of 4. And now since both sides of this equation are written as powers of the same number, we can get rid of the base 2 altogether and equate the exponents. That would be 3x equals to 4. Finally, solving this equation leads to x equals to 4 over 3. And that's the answer. In other words, log base 8 of 16 is equal to 4 over 3. Or in exponential form, 8 to the power of 4 over 3 is equal to 16. And there we have it. And so that's how to deal with logarithms in which the answer is an improper fraction. And that's it for this tutorial.